China's intensive startup culture raises questions. Sri Lanka's floods and landslides kill at least eight people. And millennials have grown to be the largest generation in the United States. You're watching Fair 5, I'm Andrea Den. As China sees an increasing number of startups and competition, concerns have been raised that some startups encourage an unhealthy working culture. In some startups, staff are sleep deprived and work far too long hours. Business analysts are questioning if such a culture would increase competitiveness. Meanwhile, analysts said complicated red tape and administrative procedures are slowing down the startup development. Many private companies also find it difficult to advance deals with state-owned firms. These are all creating extra work for startup employees. In Sri Lanka, floods and landslides killed at least eight people, including a 10-month-old baby, while tens of thousands of people were forced to flee their homes. Nearly 5,000 families living in flooded areas have been moved to relief centers. Fallen trees and damaged power lines are making some roads inaccessible as troops are deployed to evacuate people living on the slopes or flooded areas. The country's meteorological department has warned of further severe weather during this year's rainy season. The rain will continue until Wednesday. In the United States, the latest census statistics show the number of millennials have become the largest generation in the country, reaching 75 million out of a total population of 318 million. The survey shows that millennials born between 1981 and 1997 value a work-life balance and the flexibility of working hours more than the previous generations. They're less concerned about the company's global reputation. They're also the most liberal thinking politically and economically, most ethnically diverse. Social analysts believe all this will have a profound impact on the country's future politics and the economy. And that's it for today. Comments go down below and thanks for watching.